what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest pixel experience ROM on this device well this is the latest build as of right now and if I go into the settings in the about section we have the Android version and here you can see that the Android version is 10 of course and let me go back the security patch is latest November 5th 2019 and the build number you can see from here this is the 10th November 2019 build and the stock kernel is pixel dynamic plus kernel let me go back in the system there is a, like system updater option you can check for updates like from here let me go back in the gestures you will find this like Android 10 navigation gestures and these works flawlessly here let me go back now in terms of the settings and stuff well it is pretty basic again there is not much of changes that you may find here well this is stock pixel experience no customizations at all but let me show you this stock launcher this is the like pixel launcher of course and in the suggestions you can disable the apps and overview suggestions and then about section here it shows the version as 10 the apps info shows like this google pixel launcher and let me show you to the left we have the google now cards and one more interesting thing here is that there is the swipe down anywhere to get the like quick settings panel it wasn't there earlier but right now here it is now talking about the wallpapers well let me show you if you scroll down you will find these live wallpapers of pixel 4 and here you can see there is this compass wallpaper you can customize the colors and stuff of it and it works fine as you can see if you're noticing this it works with the orientation and stuff there are a lot of interesting things like this like the sights from the sun then we have this doodle wallpaper and then we have the like normal live wallpapers of some sceneries so it looks cool not a lot of options like pixel 2 or something but yeah these wallpapers options are there present by default on this pixel experience rom from right now but here you also get some great things like this recorder by google well let me show you once you press this record button it almost records every speech out there you can go transcript and see what you are saying well let's assume someone is deaf or something so he or she can definitely use this feature as like to see what other people are saying around them so this is a really great thing and just look at the speed it's like transmitting it's like really great the detection is almost flawless it's like on point what's the weather like look at the speed you see this this is really amazing that we get this feature from straight out of pixel 4 to this redmi note 7 pro out here so this is really great i would say and if you're on the previous builds of pixel experience android 10 based rom i will definitely recommend you guys like clean flashing this rom pretty much that i can say the developer recommends you guys to flash this rom as like clean so do not dirty flash over previous builds you may have some problems and in the camera department the stock camera here is the snapdragon camera so here is nothing like much fancy it is pretty like simple camera it is working fine but if you want a good camera i would say do flash the anx camera version 156 via your recovery so that would work and talking about recovery how to flash this rom well it is really simplistic you just need to have the orange fox recovery once you have the decrypted storage you can like flash the latest pixel experience rom zip file build there is no need of gapps because gapps is already included in that zip so you just need to flash the fcrypt disabler if you are decrypted if you are not you can just reboot from there and if it gets stuck in your boot like session the google logo shows up and like keeps loading i would say just like boot back to the recovery again by holding volume up and the power button together and just format the storage again and then just reboot you don't need to flash the rom file again after formatting so now let me show you the settings panel again in the battery section we have the battery percentage option and the battery life seems to be pretty decent you can definitely get seven to eight hours of screen on time with this rom no issues whatsoever with that and you can see the full battery usage and stuff from here and in the display settings let me show you that there is a nightlight option and it does work and it is even present over here you can add a bunch of toggles from here as you can see let me go back there is the adaptive brightness or auto brightness option and styles options and stuff are there dark theme and stuff yes dark theme is there it does work flawlessly and there is double tap to wake too 
but there is no double tap to sleep even on the home screen or even on the status bar so that is a bummer true but <laughs> yeah that is how it is i have tried the antodo benchmark scores it did not work quite i was trying to like benchmark with the antodo app it just keeps force stopping and gets stuck up to 16 percent so antodo does not really work here now let me show you the geekbench score which i have tested so i got about 2371 geekbench single core score and multi core i have got 6555 score so yeah 6500 is pretty decent regarding this multi core score and talking about google pay it should work right out of the box it is working for me to write out of the box no issues whatsoever regarding google pay and this led rgb remote app i have tested it to test the ir blaster here and it does work fine you don't need to worry about it the ir blaster and stuff does work fine and talking about drm info well the developer says that he fixed it and the level one certification is there but make sure you don't roll back or something from this rom to uh, older pixel experience android 10 rom it may break the l1 certificate here so the level one certificate is like present by default out of the box you can like stream amazon prime or netflix videos on 1080p here by default and the stock dialer looks like this pretty normal there is no call recording option or something this is the like default android 10 stock google dialer and this is how the call ui looks like but volte calling is working fine here no issues whatsoever now talking about the app open up speeds and the ram management i would say the app open up speeds and stuff are pretty decent not bad at all you won't find any issues regarding the app open up animations either the animations are smooth but one thing that like keeps bothering me is that there is no single customizations not even double tap to sleep there is only double tap to wake here so that is all you get and here is the fingerprint scanner speed of this rom and in terms of the lock screen well there is the like time then there is the weather and stuff then the date and you can like unlock and it will show that animation looks pretty cool now let me show you the pubg settings over here in this rom so you can play pubg here at smooth and ultra then you can go balanced and ultra and if you go hd you have to play on high settings there is no ultra settings for like hd so that is the max settings you can get smooth and ultra or balanced and ultra so what do i think about this pixel experience rom well i would say this is pretty like dope rom if you want to taste the android 10 on your redmi note 7 pro and you do not need any customizations you can definitely go for it but if you're someone who likes customizations just a little bit even like double tap to sleep or three finger screenshot gesture or even brightness sliding options and stuff everything is missing here you won't get any part of that so if you're okay with pure stock android and like get every animation smooth enough then i would say this is a really really smooth rom to use as a daily driver so that is it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdndx signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now